Hey everybody, it's Mike here from the We Run Shop. Welcome. Today's instructional video will describe how to navigate around a nightmare scenario that some technicians, hobbyists, and machinists have encountered. What to do when you break a screw extractor off inside of a bolt you are trying to extract. For a little background here, I'm restoring my dream car, a 1992 BMW M5, and the engine and powertrain are finally out of it. When I was removing the water pump, one of the bolts snapped and just left a stud behind inside of the engine block. If there's one place for something like this to happen, this is pretty much the worst place. So in this video, I'm going to outline the beginnings of how this all happened. I'm going to show you what to do and more importantly, what not to do and what the ultimate solution was to the problem. I want to reiterate that just because this happens does not mean that the engine is now trash or that you need to send it to a machine shop. The techniques I'll show you can be accomplished by anybody that has a steady hand and a hardware store nearby. Here's how the nightmare began. I cleaned the area of the stud. I applied some heat around the area and then hit it with my 50-50 mix of acetone and ATF. The goal was to drill a hole in the stud and then remove it with the screw extractor. I started with a conventional drill bit and then went to the left hand drill bit, hoping it would pull the stud out, but it didn't. So with the appropriate size hole drilled, I went with the screw extractor and it didn't work. I got out the welder and tried three times to weld the nut to the stud and that didn't work. So I thought, well, let's get back to basics. I ground the stud down a bit and I tried to drill it out again. Another attempt with an extractor and nothing. Then I tried again, trying to be as deliberate as possible a third time, drilling as deep and as wide as I could. And then the unthinkable happens. Me and my gorilla strength, I went too far and the extractor just sheared off right inside of the stud. So with the extractor broken off in there tight, I ground down the hole flush with the water pump mating surface. Then I got out the water pump and bolted it down. I did this because I wanted to properly locate the hole that needs to be reconstructed and the water pump mounting flange will serve as the perfect guide. I took a drill bit that was almost the exact diameter as the hole in the flange and tapped it with a hammer to make a mark in the center of where I intended to reconstruct the hole. With a perfect centering point, I proceeded to drill. As I drilled, I bolted the water pump back up to the flange and checked by eye to make sure I was going in the right direction. After getting a few millimeters deep in with the drill, it wouldn't go any further because the extractors are made out of a harder steel than the drill bits. And this is where the difficulty comes in with this scenario. Once the drill bit can no longer cut, you're basically stuck. Now the threads are 6 millimeter by 1.0, and I tried to run the tap in, but the hole was too shallow. What I needed was more depth, but the drill won't go any further. So here's the true solution to the problem. I went out and grabbed a carbide tungsten rotary file bit for my Dremel. The key here is that this bit is made of a material that's even harder than the screw extractor, so you're effectively able to go into the hole and just grind the screw extractor to dust. You have to be super careful though, because you have to keep this thing straight. If you don't have a steady hand, you can begin to grind into the hole, thus making it out of round, and it won't accept threads when you run the tap through it. With the hole bored out and cleaned, I was able to run the tap in without any issues, and the water pump bolted up and torqued perfectly. Here's a close-up of the hole with the screw going in. Now, if you look closely, you can see both in this shot and some previous shots that this hole isn't as perfect as the holes that BMW drilled into the block. But if the bolt goes in and torques to spec, especially in this application, where it doesn't operate at a critical degree of clamping force, this repair will last as long as the engine block does. I'll probably dab a little bit of high temperature thread sealant on it just to make sure that it stays put for the long term. And here's another tip. If you ever have anything apart like this, run a tap through the threads and clean them. If I had done this last time I had this engine apart, 17 years ago, and replaced the hardware, 
this would not have occurred. I'm really grateful for all the support that I've received so far. Make sure you check us out on all of our social media channels, Facebook at We Wrench Official, Instagram at We Wrench Official, and TikTok at We Wrench. So you can see the amazing progress on this project. My dream car, BMW E34 M5, complete rebuild and restoration.